Hi children, welcome to A Plus Learning. Hope you all are doing good. Today we will be learning a topic from the chapter Magnetic Effect of Electric Current. Let us learn in detail the magnetic flux lines through a straight conductor and a circular coil. Now, before starting the topic, let's see a very important rule, Fleming's right hand rule. Now, in the figure, you'll see that the thumb, the forefinger and the middle finger of the right hand is held mutually perpendicular to each other. Now, when you hold this perpendicular to each other, the thumb shows the direction of the conductor. The forefinger shows the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger shows the direction of the induced current. Now let's see the rule. Fleming's right hand rule states to hold the forefinger, middle finger and thumb of right hand mutually perpendicular to each other so that the forefinger represents the direction of the external magnetic field, the thumb points in the direction of the motion of the conductor and the middle finger represents the direction of the induced current. Isn't that easy children? Now let's see the magnetic field due to a straight current carrying conductor. To learn this, we should know about a experiment. And in this experiment, what we have is a straight current carrying loop, a straight current carrying conductor. And this is a conductor and it is pierced in through a cardboard. And this cardboard is covered with a white paper on which iron filings are spread. You can see the black pieces over here. These are the iron filings. And these iron filings or iron pieces are spread over the cardboard on the white paper. Now, when the current starts flowing through the coil, what happens is we can see that the iron filings are all rushing towards the coil and forms the concentric circles. And there is a peculiarity in this concentric circles formed. The circles which are near to the coil at the center, these circles are thicker. Whereas the circles which are away from the coil, the circles which are very far away, these circles become thinner and thinner due to weak magnetic field. Now, we can find the magnetic field due to straight current carrying conductor with the help of Fleming's right hand rule. And now you know what is Fleming's right hand rule, isn't it children? And one more thing what you have to keep it in mind is if the direction of the current in the conductor is upward, if it is upward, the magnetic field lines is an anti-clockwise direction. Whereas if the direction of the current is downward in the conductor, the magnetic field line is in clockwise direction. That is, if you see in the diagram, the direction of the current in the conductor is downward here. Now, if it is downward, what is this? The magnetic field line is in clockwise direction, in this direction, the clockwise direction. But one thing what you have to keep it in mind is the circles that are very close to the conductor are very thicker compared to the circles which are away from the conductor. The circles which are away from the conductor or from the coil is thinner due to weak magnetic field. Now let's see the magnetic field due to a circular current carrying coil. Now, the magnetic field around a straight conductor, straight current carrying conductor can be increased. And how can we do this, children? It's so easy. You just bend the wires into a circular loop. So, when you bend the wires into a circular loop, what is happening is the magnetic field around the conductor will increase. Now, each small section of the current carrying wire contributes to the magnetic field line. So when you see this diagram, you can see both the sides we have concentric circles formed. And how are these concentric circles? Here too we have the concentric circles which are thicker near the coil and thinner at the ends. Now why is it so? 
This is just because as we go away from the coil, the magnetic field becomes weaker and weaker. Now, there is one thing we have to understand that is at the center of the circular coil, the field lines become straight and perpendicular to the plane of the coil. Now, at the center, when it comes over here, in the right side, if you see the diagram, you will see that at the center, what happens is the field lines become straight and perpendicular to the plane of the coil. Here, through the center, it is straight and perpendicular to the plane of the coil. Now let's have a quick recap of what we have learned today. We can find the magnetic field due to straight current carrying conductor with the help of Fleming's right hand rule. And we have already learned what is Fleming's right hand rule in today's video. The second point see that circles that are close to the conductor are thicker due to the strong magnetic field. And how are the circles formed? Do you remember children? They are concentric and it is very thicker near the coil. Whereas when it goes away from the coil, the magnetic field becomes weaker and the circles become thinner. Circles that are away from the coil tends to be thinner due to weak magnetic field. And the next point, if the direction of the current in the conductor is upward, then the magnetic field is in anti-clockwise direction. Whereas if the direction of the current is downward, then the magnetic field is in clockwise direction. The magnetic field around a straight current carrying conductor or wire can be increased by bending the wire into a circular loop. The next one, each small section of the current carrying wire contributes the magnetic field lines at the center of the circular wire, the field lines become straight and perpendicular. Don't you remember children? The, at the center of the circular wire, the field lines become straight and perpendicular to the plane of the coil.